Hi there, welcome back to the Learn Script Case from Scratch uh, course. We're continuing part four. This video is going to cover tab application. So my name is Nate Carpenter. And as you can see, we're going through the outline of this course here. We're still in applications, getting towards the end. Uh, but this video is covering tab applications. So we're using Global Music Supply as a fictional case study for us uh, throughout this course. And in one of the previous videos, we created some control applications to allow the salespeople to enter their sales for the different um, different product types that we sell. So we have three different uh, control applications, but sometimes the salespeople are entering all their sales at once. So they have a stack of invoices and they're just going through them and entering them. So it gets a little bit tricky to be switching between applications all the time. So the solution for this you decide is to build a tab application. So this way you can have all three applications inside of one main application and just switch between them um, using tabs right at the top. So we'll see how this works more later, but let's go ahead to our development environment so we can start playing with this and get this developed. Okay, so here we are in our development environment, and here's in the sales folder, we've got our three control applications. Let's go to new application now to create our tab application. So wait for that to load, and once that loads, we can select tab application, and there it is right there, and it kind of looks like how you might expect it to with some tabs in there. And we can name this, so I'm going to call it um, input sales, so they can go to the single application and input sales for all three product types. Click create on that and wait for it to load. And then we can start adding applications to it. So there's two main areas of a tab application that we're going to focus in on here. So let me wait for this to load so I can show you those. And so there's folder settings. So that's going to be the tabs that we have and then application settings to link applications to those tabs. So if we go to application settings, we're not going to see a whole lot right now uh, because we haven't created any folders or tabs. Uh, but once we have tabs created, then we can link applications to those tabs. So let's go to folders to create folders or tabs um, for this for this application. So let me wait for that to load. So as you can see, we can have a label and then we can also have an image. So if you wanted to add an image to that tab, we could do that. For now, we're just going to leave it at a label. So the first one is records and then I'm just clicking add. And as you can see, we can update or modify these however we want. Instruments is the second one and sheet music is the third one. So those are our three product types. Let's go ahead and hit save on that. And now we can go to applications, application settings to add applications to those tabs. So we're going to link them. If you've seen um, the, the forum videos or grid videos, you're familiar with some of the linking options we have in script case. This is very similar to those. Um, so once this loads here, we can choose applications to link. So as you can see, we have our records tab. We can go ahead and click add on that. Um, to add an application. And uh, just like you've seen before, adding a link, we have a list of all of our applications here. And we're going to choose input record sales, right like so, and click next. If there's any parameters, we can define those. And then we can define uh, the size of the iframe for that. We're going to leave it to, to the default there and go ahead and click confirm. So now, um, now that application will be linked to that tab. And we just have to repeat this step for the next uh, three tabs. So uh, records is, go, is set up, now we're gonna do instruments. So same process, click add, and then select our, uh, select our record here, select our, our application. So there's all of our applications. Let's scroll down to the bottom here and find our control application. Let me find it here. There we go, input, um, input uh, sales, instrument sales, right like so. Click next there and then uh, leave the parameters to default unless you want to change them and then go ahead and click confirm and then we just have one more tab and this application should be ready to go so let me wait for that to come around and load and then we can set up that last tab here um, for this to go so this is very simple very easy to use and very quick once we have those control applications set up all we need to do is just put in the links here so now we're doing our third tab sheet music let me find our input sheet music sales application right there and go ahead and click next on that. And we should be ready to go for this. So leave the parameters to the defaults right like so and um, click confirm. Wait for that to load and then we can go ahead and see what this looks like. So let's go ahead and run this application now to see how it looks. And then I can go ahead and switch over through that. And as you can see, it's still drawing it on the screen, 
But as you can see now we have uh, three tabs here, records, instruments, and sheet music. So now the salespeople can just easily switch between them and input the correct uh, sales for them so that they don't have to keep loading different applications. They're all in one place, very easy to use. So that's how you use tab applications to link different applications into, into one main applications uh, with tabs.